Right now during lockdown, we are not able to go to any archeological sites in Greece because they're all closed. And so we don't get to enjoy one of the things that we really enjoy doing when we visit a place is uh, going out and investigating the history of the place. And in Greece, obviously. The place to be. <laughs> is one of the best places to go if you like history. In archeology. span In archeology. Yeah. So, uh, we're disappointed about that, but there are many other more important things to be disappointed about during COVID. So we just roll with it. But we've heard that in somewhat of the location that we're in, there's a really old Byzantine... Byzantine? Byzantine. There's a really old Byzantine monastery. Yes. Is that what it is? Yeah, Byzantine. it's a 500 AD, roughly, yeah, monastery. Yeah, so it's, you know, 15... 1500 years old and it's up this really steep road that we're on <laughs> we have to go up that for about two kilometers it's not that steep ye <laughs> okay it's a little steep <laughs> Did you hear that? Wow. That was... was that thunder? No, I don't know what it was. Or... We just heard this giant rumble. Like... Dynamite or something. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, that's the view that we have right now. It's just beautiful That is an incredible view. So we're really excited to we're really excited hey. to be able to see some history and apparently and be on a walk. It's not fenced in. All the other archaeological sites are fenced in right now. So you, you know, we can look at them through a fence, but you can't see all the good stuff or go read the signs or things like that. So this would be pretty cool. We've heard that you can just go there and it's open. It's just, just walk there, the open, on top of this hill. Wow, this is steep. Wow, this is steep. <laughs> <laughs> I take it all back, Yee. Yeah, we're just walking on our tiptoes right now. <laughs> cool, it feels good. How you doing, Kay? Good. Feels good. <laughs> I'm going to guess the grade is about 25, 26%. Yeah, it feels like it. Yeah, if I was on my bike, this would suck. <laughs> I have no idea what elevation we're at, but we walked a fair way up a steep incline and there's more olive trees. What a view, Guy. Check that out. Only one boat on the water. Okay, so the wall is, is definitely not 500 AD. Yeah. <laughs> There's the tile roof building. You can see it though in the middle.
The what? The sea. The sea? Yeah, there's a oh, the ocean. fish with the a sea. hand in it. Oh, cool. There's this serpentine thing with a guy in the mouth. And there's people up on a boat. Mm. And it's hard to make out what this is. I always like looking at the details of the um, clothing and the objects that everyone's holding rather than the whole religious connotation. I mean, I like to look at the fabric, the texture, and imagine that. I think that's really fascinating. It's pretty cool, yeah. yeah. This probably fell during an earthquake. Pretty cool, we used to have these plants in our yard. I'm just amazed. It's ama It's just wonderful to actually walk inside something that was made in 500 AD, hand built, painted. Yeah, by one guy. It took him 10 years to make, apparently. I think that's the that's story. We'll we have heard. to double check. Yeah. And a monk, not just a guy. Yeah. <laughs> right? <a monk. laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's fascinating to just be in that. Um, I can't imagine Greece can care for every single archaeological site There's that so exists. It would just, you would spend so much money and resources, but so it's weird to see something like that in a little bit of a 
disarray or just not kept up, but I, I can totally understand why. So this is a string of these insanely evil caterpillars. Yeah, they are terrible. Oh my God, they- I just about stepped on them. Rashes and they've killed dogs because they swell their tongue up. And we heard a story of a guy whose dog drank out of a bowl with those. And they had that to were cut, in the bowl. That were in the bowl and they had to, to cut part of his tongue out because it, it, the tissue died. That's awful. Yeah, so you stay well away of those little guys. This is like uh, publicly owned land. So we're, it's in, we're in like a national forest, comparable to a national forest. And so we just saw Luca riding his bike from up there all the way down here. And there's actually, there's actually a loop that goes from La Cazesa up here and then back. So he'll, he'll see our car at the junction and realize that we're up here. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. I can't wait to ride. If you've ever noticed the introductory part of our videos, there's a bunch of still pictures that flash by and several of them are of mountain biking. Our idea was to have our mountain bikes on our sailboat and then we would mountain bike all of the different places that we go. Cause that's something we enjoy. We enjoy sailing and mountain biking. And our mountain bikes right now are still in Florida. Sad. Sadly, because it would be really fun to have them here. But since we've never known if we were gonna stay here very long, we haven't shipped them over. Right. We're always living like two weeks at a time without any long-term plans. So uh, we would just hold off on doing anything as a, as a big commitment, like shipping our bikes and then having, having to leave. So. We're waiting patiently. Yeah. So the plan is if we get our visa, at least another three month visa, then we're gonna have our bike shipped over to us. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We love to read your comments. And be sure to watch our next video where we share a really big announcement about our future with you. See you next time. Thanks. Where am I looking again? The white thing? This side? Or that side? Okay. <laughs> I always forget.